Breakfast at this Cafe. This is February the 7th of 2017. And so um, if I have bags under my eyes, it's true. <laughs> Look closely. Um, I was awake for, uh, I don't know if anybody else struggles with insomnia issues or other situations, but I, I was up half the night. So, um, you know, just bear with me. That is really uh, my truth for this morning. And so uh, hang tight, ladies. Let me go ahead and pray us in. Uh, we've got a lot of new people here on the call. We're going to have you do some of your introductions here again in just a minute. And um, but it's very exciting to be here. And let's go ahead and pray. Father God, thank you so much for this time together. Thank you that we can gather um, both those that are here every single month and those that uh, maybe haven't been in a while and those that are here for the first time by getting one of my emails or seeing one of my Facebook videos or hearing about this uh, call and training from a friend. And Lord, I pray that, that each woman leaves with one little tiny nugget of something uh, that might help her today or might help her tomorrow. Lord, you know, we, we learn bit, bit by bit, piece by piece. And Lord, help us to take something away from this call that we need. Uh, and Lord, just give me the words to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, all right. Uh, hello, hello, hello. So here's where we are, speaking with heart in your business. Let me tell you who I am. And then we are going to dive into, I'm going to give you a little kind of commercials at the beginning, like I always do. I know some of you are sick of the commercials, but hey, you know, it, it's a free program. <laughs> so um, I am Diane Cunningham, and I have my master's in education. Uh, that's me holding the torch that I made my, my, own, my own self. I made it myself. And um, I am the president and founder of the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs, coach, mentor, author of seven books. One of you is going to win uh, uh, probably two books from me today at the end of the call. Um, and, and so that's exciting. I am a fun friend, coffee addict, a lot of these other cool things. Uh, speak, speaker, teacher, connector. A uh, side note, when you do a PowerPoint or on your business card, write down that you're a speaker because that will help you get speaking gigs, okay? And um, so, plane crash survivor, sometimes that actually gets me in the door too. Uh, restarter, photographer, artist. I'm a woman in recovery, and, and also, as we're going along today, here's my challenge and invitation to you. Actually, here's how you can help me. I do these webinars for free every month to help you. Here's how you can help me. You can snap a photo of one of our screens and share it. You can tag me in a post. You can do a hashtag like one of these, NACWI or NACWI Cafe. Um, and definitely that would be a great gift back to me and to our group by just sharing what you've learned. This is a free webinar, so of course, share what you've learned here today. Does that make sense? Can everybody give me a little high five in the room? We, we do a lot of hand motions here, and, and the only way I get the feedback from you is in the group. So feel free to uh, type as fast as you can in there. Uh, and so we've got, I, I want to also stop and just uh, welcome our new folks. So um, if you're here for the first time, I know Annette from South Carolina is here for the first time. Who else is here for the first time to one of these trainings, the Inspire Business Cafe? I want to get my pom-poms out so we can celebrate you. Who's here for the first time for the cafe? Nicole, are you here for the first time? Just go ahead and write first timers. You know, I'm so goofy. I went running up and bought uh, <coughs> these pom-poms a couple of years ago. You know, why not? Uh, so Nicole is here for the first time. Beth is here for the first time. Um, how is the audio? Someone is saying that I'm breaking up. It could be that my, my throat is just weird because I was up all night. Uh, so Beth's here for the first time. <laughs> Shauna, are you here for the first time? Nicole, I'm writing down some names here, first timers. Linda, awesome. So welcome, welcome. Uh, just a couple other pictures here uh, as we go along. Uh, this is some of my little fun things I do. I play around with photography. I play around with um, art. And, you know, it, it's good. It's really a good thing. I, I love the fact that we get to start again. <sighs> we get to start again. And so... I created a program called Restart, the art of starting over, because I don't know about you, but I have to start over pretty much every day, and lots of times hourly, 
And, and that's about my mindset, that's about my business, that's about my eating, that's about my exercise, all of these things. And so if you are a re restarter with me in this experience, just say, yes, I, I have to restart. You know, and thank God we have grace. Thank God we have, uh, you know, the power to do it again, to try over, that God, uh, you know, that God doesn't use our past against us. You know, thank you. Thank you for that. Because I don't know, I mean, maybe you are squeaky clean, but, you know, I, I have lived, um, I am, I'm, not, I'm not squeaky clean. <laughs> I'm not squeaky clean over here. And pretty much if we all told the truth, which we're going to talk about here today, speaking with heart in your business, we all told the truth. Well, none of us are squeaky clean. We all have a big, long rap sheet. If I got what I really deserved, you know, I'd be in deep trouble. Deep trouble, my friends. So let's, um, let's keep on going. I just wanted to also, a couple more announcements. And so then we get your papers ready so you can take notes. Uh, but Karen is here in the house, I believe. So let's give a shout out. Karen Linwalborg is our new NACWI education coordinator, which is Amazing, awesome. She knows our online classroom better than I do. We have 21 classrooms uh, in the back once you become a member. Uh, and I'm going to give you some special, special offers today uh, in, the, in this next uh, time together. Uh, so hint, hint, stay till the end. Um, Karen is our new NACWI education coordinator. I love that photo of her. She's finishing up her PhD. Give a shout out, Karen. Hi. And uh, today's Tuesday. She's taking it to the next level. This woman is finishing up her dissertation and also uh, is just a, a dynamo and she helps us to see behind the scenes of different ways we can learn, grow, and expand our territory. So I uh, just wanted to say hi to Karen. Awesome. And just another a couple more announcements before we dive in. Grab your paper and your coffee. We have our conference coming up. Yay! We do this every year. I took two years off. Uh, after my divorce, and then I rallied back up. So uh, this is our next one. It is April 27th through 29th. We start with a meet and greet, and then we go into two full days of training here in Grapevine, Texas. And if you've never been here, Grapevine uh, is um, really a quaint little main street here, basically just a hop, skip, and a jump from my house. And we've rented a, a, a great venue, and we've got some you know wonderful training for you all about your story. Blazing the Trail, Leadership, Legacy, and Your Business Story. Leadership, Legacy, and Your Business Story. So you'll see that we're talking about your, telling your story here today. And, and we're going to continue on deep into that um, at the conference. And you'll see some of our girls are right here. Um, Barb is in the house. I don't know if anybody else is here with us live. But uh, you know our members are right here with us. And uh, thanks for saying that, Brenda. Hi, hi to you. Hello. <laughs> yes, and Grapevine is great. Uh, and Cherie, uh, Cherie used to be a NACWI member. Hopefully she's going to come back today. Hopefully she's going to come back. A couple other really cool, uh, we've been working on gathering up quotes from our women, telling their story. So this actually ties into what I'm about to teach you. Have your people tell their own story. Have, their pe have your people tell their own story. So Karen is telling her own story right here on this quote. And then Lawanda, Dr. Lawanda is telling her story. Now we empowered me to unapologetically share my story with the world with confidence and boldness. And what she's talking about is our the book we did this last year, The Art of Brave Living. I now stand in my truth and I own my truth because I was brave enough to tell the truth. Now, isn't that the perfect quote for today on this call? And then Karen. My first full year as a NACWI member, I did 2.4 times the amount of business I had done the year before. Oh my gosh. Essentially, the group changed my mindset, ignited my passions, clarified my why, boosted my confidence, and gave me the tools to succeed. Well, how do you do? And then I've got two more quotes here, one from Elena and uh, one from Kim. And uh, so definitely, I mean, we, we just we want to support you. We want to promote you. We want to hire you. We want to do all these things with you. Because we are you. Amen? We are you. Uh, all right. At NACWI, our mission is to train, empower, and inspire. We do this in three ways. We connect, we create, we collaborate. We're doing that right now, and I want to go ahead and get dive, dove in. I want to dive into the topic, and so I'm going to kind of fast forward here. Let's do this. You guys all have your handout with you, and if you don't, it's going to be just fine. Don't have an emergency breakdown. 
just grab a blank sheet of paper. So grab some blank sheets of paper and we're going to start talking through this training. All right? All right, let's do it. Um, did everybody introduce themselves? We've got uh, a lot of you that have jumped on. Go ahead, while I'm, while I'm still talking, this is where we encourage you to talk during class. At the end of today, for those that are still here, uh, you've got to be present to win. I'm giving away a copy of my Inspire Business Toolkit and this brand new painting that I just did this weekend at the Heart Art Retreat. Okay, it's a six by six. So you must still be here when I give that away, and then you're going to need to email me your address, because if not, I don't know how I'm going to get it to you. But while I'm still speaking, please introduce yourself into the chat room if you can multitask. And we've got a lot of first-timers here, um, and so that's very exciting. I think 10 first-timers so far. And so welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's dive in. <clears throat> let's just take a little drink of water. That's good for you. What does it mean? What does it mean to speak with heart? And this is an interactive webinar. I, I hear myself talk plenty. So I want to hear you. Uh, I, I need to hear your voice by basically you typing. This is recorded. It will be on YouTube. Um, some things I have said on these calls have been used against me. So that's really interesting and fascinating. But um, I, it's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me. Um, I am called to share my story. I am called to share my story, and I'm not going to stop sharing my story because someone uh, lashes out at me. I'm not going to do it. I hope you don't either. I hope you don't either. What does it mean for you to speak with heart? How do we do it in business? How do we do it with integrity? How do we do it and not end up feeling like we want to run off and hide in the corner? Because, you know, when somebody lashes out at me, when you get a hater, and if you haven't had haters yet, well, you know, just be ready. <laughs> you will have people that don't like what you say. You will have people that, and these are good Christian folk. These are good Christian folk. And so we need to speak the truth about that. We need to speak the truth about the fact that sometimes we, we, get, we get silenced. We get silenced, and we get afraid, and, and I, that happened to me just in the last week and a half, and honestly, I just wanted to stop. Let's tell the truth today. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from being up last night from 1 in the morning till 5 because my brain kicked on and it wouldn't turn off. Anybody else struggle with your brain, like, needing an off switch? Anybody else need that? Oh, my gosh, it's like, turn off. <laughs> so, um... I was, I'm exhausted today, but I'm still here. Amen? I'm still here. I'm showing up. I'm doing the deal because that is what happens. That is what I need to do, and that's the, the power of this. But I also feel like, I, you know, we have to share. We have to, we have to tell the truth about, you know, the reality of business, not just the, you know, the glory. Uh, I call it the glossy. You know, I mean, there's the glossy book that you can see right here. It's all color, and, and you can see our fun pictures from our, our party. But you don't get to see the work, the agony, the nights, the, the trouble that came right before it launched. You don't get to see all that. But I feel like it's important for us to talk about that. It's important for us to talk about that, and I hope you do too. So you might be asking questions. You probably have lots of questions. And today is a great day to ask questions. So post them in here, post them in here as we go, because I'm reading them as we go along. I'm reading them as we go along. Hi, Sally. Uh, so you might be asking about speaking. Speaking your heart, are you going to do it on a stage? Do you do it on Facebook Live? I did a Facebook Live this morning, and I did a Facebook Live yesterday, and I'm going to do a lot more uh, throughout our membership drive between now and February 17th. Do I get a little worked up? Yeah, I do. I actually do get a little tweaked and worked up. Um, speaking, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going live. What do I need to do? What do I need to have ready for me? One-on-one -on -one is speaking as well. Webinars. Um, if you do webinars, go ahead and raise your hand. I always ask this every single time. Well, first, let's go back. Um, who has done Facebook Live? Who has done a Facebook Live uh, on from their page or on their per personal page or from their business page or in their groups? Who have done Facebook Live? Good job. Good job, ladies, because you know what? 
um, you're going to say things on there that you didn't have on your little note card. <laughs> and um, everybody always asks me, so I'm going to just do this right now. Sorry for showing you my, my love handles. My love handles have gotten bigger. <laughs> Let's tell the truth about that. Woo! Um, everybody always asks me, so I'm going to show you this again. I've got two different gadgets, and this is a side note, but it's related to speaking. Okay. Um, so this is the one I used to use. This is called the in your face. The T H E in your face dot com. If somebody could type that for me. I love this one. I've had it, I mean I've used this one for two three years, but I just got a brand new phone uh, as a Christmas gift. And my iPhone 7 won't really fit in here. I mean the other one was barely able to clamp in there. I like this one a lot, and so I still have it. Um I could put my old phone in there and, and probably do something, record some videos or do some something. But here's the new one I have. And this has a much longer, you'll see much longer um, bendable neck. I, don't, I think that's what that's called. But the challenge, I mean, this is from Barnes & Noble, sisters, and it was $14.97. There was one that was built for your phone, and then there's one that's built for your tablet. So, you know, don't, don't hang up the webinar and run over there yet, but you can go check them out later. They're in the front of the store, up kind of near the cards and planners and knickknacks, okay? So um, what I do love about this is uh, there's some things I like, things I don't, and I know this is a side note, but it's important. It's important for you to know this for you when you do Facebook Live, and it's important for you to know this when you, like we use this over the weekend to take pictures at the hard art retreat okay and so this one the clamp is much harder I mean I'm not I'm not that wimpy but this one is much harder to get open so I mean it's pretty it's grasps on really strong and I clamp it up here to my windowsill when I'm doing my Facebook lives and I actually basically kind of twist this down and put the phone right there sitting and clamp that in okay does that make sense to everybody clappity clamp oops going the wrong direction um, but and then I have my props and things right in front of me. Uh, any questions on this before I move on? Because that really wasn't on the webinar. Um, but if, if some of you are doing Facebook Live, some of you are doing webinars, and these are good things. What about PowerPoint? You don't, and I mean, here's the truth. And I say this all the time. You don't know until you go. I didn't know how to do a PowerPoint. I didn't know how to do a webinar. I didn't know how to do you know, Facebook Live. I didn't know how to do any of this. How do you think I learned? How in the world do you think I learned how to do these things? I just did it. <laughs> I know I get in trouble because I just do things. I just get, I just decide, oh, I'm going to do a radio show. Long before I created NACWI, long before I created NACWI, I decided, I found out about Blog Talk Radio, and I was just like astounded that this thing was free. And so I just chose, I said, you know what, I'm going to do a radio show every Thursday morning at 10. And you better believe I did. I did. And they're still over there at blogtalkradio.com slash Diane Cunningham. And I called my radio show Inspired Women Succeed. No, no, I didn't. Inspired Women Radio. <laughs> Inspired Women Radio. And I just interviewed. And so now it's like so interesting because now instead of doing that, I mean, I interview women on our expert calls. I interview women on our Zoom calls. I, I have women share their stories in books now. So it's still the same, but it's just a little different format. You don't know until you go. So PowerPoint testimony. Are you doing classes or workshops? Are you doing long or short trainings and speaking? Here's the great analogy, and we were at, again, we were at the Heart Art Retreat, and um, who reminded us of that? Kim, I think Kim Hawkins reminded us of this. Yes, Kim. So let's give a high five to Kim Hawkins, who's in the house. She reminded us of one of our trainings from Elizabeth um, Elizabeth, what's your last name? Mick. She's our speaker girl. And so we had uh, McGovern, I believe. No, no, no. Elizabeth, we'll look it up. But basically, she reminded us in this great, great training that's in the back of the NACWI uh, um, online classroom that every time you speak, it's like a necklace. Yes, thank you. Elizabeth McCormick. And um, this is such a great analogy. So um, when you're speaking, you're putting on a necklace and you're going to have the clasp. So the clasp is the, uh, the beginning and the end of the necklace. You're going to always have a beginning and an end that really are all pretty much the same, okay? And then what you're going to have to decide 
is how many beads. This is so cool. So how, like, let's say, and and I know actually, Cherie, do you still, still create necklaces? This is a great analogy. So when you're speaking, you basically, if you have 10 minutes, you're only going to have a few beads. If you have a what, like a full day where you're teaching at a, a, a workshop or a conference, you've got lots and lots of beads, lots and lots of beads. So based on how long you have, is how many stories each bead. This is such a beautiful. Beautiful thing. I mean, this can. This is a game changer. This is a game changer. So I hope you're catching this. Each bead on your necklace is one of your stories. Is one of your testimonies. Is one of your experiences. Your examples. It's something that you want to teach us. Oh my gosh. So is anybody having an aha moment right now? And so the longer time you have, you can add more beads. You can change the beads out based on the the place. If I'm going to speak. At the Realtors Association, that's a different set of stories than if I'm at the uh, Women in Recovery Retreat. Does that make sense? Woo! This is good. Okay, let's keep on going because I'm getting all I'm getting fired up. Woo! Speaking is. You might say, what is speaking? Well, speaking is sharing your message, telling your story, the relaying of information. We are speaking right now. We are speaking. I am speaking. I'm sharing my message. I'm weaving stories in, and I'm relaying information. And then after this, it gets out there, and it's out and about forever and ever on the YouTube, unless I hide it, unless I take it down. But sometimes we overcomplicate it. Yes, we want to get better at speaking. Yes, I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, Toastmasters. I went to Toastmasters for an entire year. Uh, if you are a Toastmaster, a competent uh, communicator, Toastmaster, then give us a high five. It's a great, great, very low in, low cost uh, training, and I, I chose to go every single week for a year. I should go back. I, it was amazing for me. And you can learn you learn about communicating. You learn about communicating. So uh, you can certainly also I've I've gone to speaking training. I've been in a six me six months training to get better at speaking. But honestly, you're going to get better at speaking by doing what? Speaking. Share your message. Tell your story. Relay the information. And, and really, when you're sharing your testimony, again, we don't need to overthink all this. And I'm going to give you a great, I'm going to show you what I mean on, on these two handouts. Okay, you have the one that you've downloaded. Excuse me. You have this one that you've downloaded. We're going to, I'm going to have put you to work here in just a minute. And then this one is another one I'm going to add to, so you're going to need to have some blank paper. Teaching what you have learned. Teaching what you have learned. All right. You guys still here with me? Everybody give me a high five. I'm doing good. The art of speaking. The art of speaking. Microphone. Okay. The art of speaking. <laughs> Let me ask you. Let me ask you. And this is where I want you to really pause, and I'm going to give you a minute, and I'm going to take a deep breath. Let me ask you, what do you really need to say? What do you really need to be honest about? Take a deep breath. What do you really need to say? What do you need to be honest about? The other important questions that for us to ask, and, and, and write these things down. These are things that you need to dive deep into either here, but probably more deeply afterwards and work with a coach on. Um, there's certain, and then I also want to do the flip side. There, there's things that we don't need to say. <laughs> there's things that are said on social media all day that don't need to be said. And they certainly don't need to be said by me. So ask yourself these questions too. Does it need to be said? Does it need to be said by me? And does it need to be said right now? Very, very important, those three questions. So somebody can type that or, or uh, definitely because, you know what, there's things that are none of our business. My, you know, I, I can tell the stories of my own life, and I need to be honest about my own cleaning up my side of the street, okay? And, you know, it's not my job to tell you how to do it, where to do it, when to do it, why to do it. And, and certainly it's not my job to judge you on how you've done it. My gosh, it's a miracle that anybody even gets out the door because then we get judged before we walk out the door. And we judge ourselves long before we ever even have put on an outfit. Okay, so does it need to be said? And then so back to our question on the screen. 
What do you really need to say? What is the message that God has given you? What do you need to be honest about? What you, like, and I'm going to call out Annette Bridges because she's right here and I just saw her type. Annette Bridges posted like a total breakdown. <laughs> this is like a miracle. And I know she has thought about whether she should erase it. But Annette Bridges found out that her mom had been basically elder abuse. Uh, so a caretaker of hers had, um, you know, supposedly uh, stolen money. I mean, money was taken. And I mean, I know I need to phrase this the right way. But uh, money was uh, not in the account anymore uh, that should have been in the account. And Annette found out about this. And guess what she did? Now, I know she's questioned herself since then. But she got on her Facebook Live. And Annette, I, I hope this is okay. I'm telling your story right here. This is you, girl. Um, Annette got on her Facebook as she was driving to, after she just found this out, she's driving over to the bank. She's driving over to deal with this situation. She's driving to her mom. How old is your mama again, Annette? Talk to us. And so, yeah, she's 90. And, and I'm, I'm going to also just call out, because Annette, now this is where you get to see a, a, your life make meaning. Your life make meaning. I, I've done four hard art retreats. Annette has been at every single one. The first time she came, she had never painted before. And she started painting, and she took it home and showed her 90-year-old mama. Her mama was not 90 then. And her mom has come back alive because she started painting. So that's where the ripple effect of what you do and how you get out there can be seen. Um, but Annette got on her, her FaceTime. Or not FaceTime. Annette got on her Facebook Live and she just like poured it out. She's crying all over the place. She's not running. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> it is bad. It's bad in a good way. It's bad in a beautiful, good way. And I, if you haven't seen it yet, and if you're not friends with Annette Bridges, Annette, um, it's Annette Moody Bridges. I don't. I maybe you have your Facebook link. I think it's on your personal page. But you need to go see this. It's her most viewed video. It's her most viewed video. Why is that? Let me ask. Why is that her most viewed video? I believe, and I told her this in person this weekend. That is the real stuff. You know, that is the real gory, nitty gritty, ugly stuff. That you know what? Lots of times I'm having a cry. I was having a crying down breakdown last Thursday. But I was just having it here upstairs in my guest room on the floor, okay? And, and you know what? We have got to be willing. We have got to be willing to take those masks off and be honest and be honest. And it's going to scare the living hoo-hoo -hoo out of you. You and your story, they will change. It's okay. We need you to tell us the truth. My story is changing also. My story is changing. I got engaged. I'm getting married. I'm going to be, I'm, I need to sell this house. I, 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 my business is changing. I have changed. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's scary. You bet. Even the good stuff is scary. Can we just admit that? Can we admit that the good stuff is just as scary? Let's just tell the truth about that. Because, you know, um, people can look at your life and they can look at your little Facebook feed and go, Oh, my gosh, she's got everything perfect. That's a big, bold lie. It's a big, bold lie. And, you know, I mean, if one area is like, you know, rainbows, then you've got a big mud pit in another area. It's That's life. That's life. You and your story, they will change, and it's okay, and we need you to tell us the truth. And, 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 and really, it's a series of being open, honest, and peeling back your own layers. Peeling back your own layers. This is simple, but I, I wrote this down about a year ago, and I just thought, you know, speak or speak. Writers write. Singers, they sing. Runners, they go out running, even on the days they don't want to. Painters, they paint. And some of them are not very good at all. Like, it's just like, ugh, I don't even like that. Teachers, they teach. Teachers, they teach. And so I want you to really see that speaking is a, um, it's an art. It's a craft. It is, you're not, every speech is not going to be stellar. You're not probably going to be on Women of Faith. There is no Women of Faith anymore. It's changed. That has changed too. That has changed too. Entrepreneurs, yes, entrepreneur. <laughs> Entrepreneurs explode. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, but I mean, it's just really, if, if we want to do something, you want to learn to do it. You do, you're going to do it. You're going to practice. 
one day at a time has saved me from alcohol addiction. One day at a time. I've got about three and a half years. One day at a time it is going to be how, how we build a business. One day at a time is going to be how I learned to paint. One day at a time is going to be how I get ready for my next half marathon. All of these things, I mean, this is very simple. Yes, thank you, Nicole. But it's very true. It's about practicing your behavior. Some of the writers that I know, they get up and they write for four hours. They, they, that's what they do. They write. They don't, you know, and most of it, none of it's getting posted. They're writing. They're, they're writing their blog. They're writing their book. They're, they're doing their craft. And then they go and, you know, pull pieces together after. All right, let's dive into this. You guys all have this, and if not, remember, please don't have a mental health breakdown right now. I am a counselor, but I don't have my certification here in Texas, and um, you'll be just fine. <laughs> You're going to be just fine. Just find a blank sheet of paper. So here is the Heart-Based Business Canvas. If you signed up for this webinar, who signed up for this webinar and was able to print this out? Just say yes in the chat room. Say yes in the chat rooms because we want to give you a big bravo. Those of you that got signed up and are here, guess what? You're the only ones eligible for my prizes and gifts. So if you're saying yes now, you are eligible for my prizes and gifts. Yay! Yay for you. So at the end, you girls are the only ones that get to win that. Okay? Can everybody live with integrity on that? Heart-based business canvas. Um, I see things in circles and hearts. Okay, I am not an Excel spreadsheet girl. I, that is very obvious to me over the last couple weeks as I've had to work on business documents. Oh my gosh, it just hurts. Like it hurts like deep down in my whole spirit. Um, I am a circles and hearts girl. And so this is how it makes sense to me. If this does not make sense to you, guess what? Don't use it. <laughs> okay, it's really that simple. You know, take what works and leave the rest. Can we all just agree that, you know, some things are going to work for you and others you are going to be like, that does not make any BP picking sense to me. Well, then let it go, my friend. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and I'm going to talk you through this, and then you're going to get to do your own. Do your own, okay? Um, all right. Who, how, when, what, where, how? Wow, excuse me. <laughs> And if you didn't get this, it's in your email link. I see some of the people at the conversation about that. Um, it's in the email link. When you join NACWI, guess what? You get it. Yeah, yeah, guess what? You get this and like 25 other templates just in the starter section. And you get it in color. Hello? Color. Okay, so let me explain to the, and you might want to write on here the explanation. And then um, you're going to need a separate one to fill out for your own self. Okay? Uh, so who, who, so who are you speaking to? This is, and you're going to be able to use this today, but you're also going to be able to use this whenever you're doing an event. Okay. So who are you speaking to? Are you speaking to, um, moms of preschoolers? Are you speaking to pastor's wives? Are you speaking to the fireman's group? Are you speaking to the chamber of commerce? Are you speaking to, um, Women at a, a weekend getaway. Are you speaking to five people or are you speaking to 500 people? Who are you speaking to? So make sure you know that audience, know your audience. How? How are you speaking to them? How are you going to get the message across? So how would be, um, how am I going to get the message across? So like today I'm going to get the message across here on a webinar. That's the how for me. Uh, and, and then the win, well, the win for me is first Tuesday of every month. I do this webinar for the first Tuesday of every single month. Thank you guys for your suggestions, uh, and definitely. Um, for now, it is it is as it is, all right? So how? How am I going to get the message across, and when is that going to happen? Is that a weekly podcast? Is that a uh, monthly webinar? Is that a once-a-year retreat that you host? Uh, what's going to happen there? What is happening at your event? What is happening on your webinar? So what is happening here? You tell me. What is ha What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Why am I here? I'll ask you guys. You asked me. Why am I here? And what are we doing here? So the what? The deliverables. The deliverables of why we are here. 
what am I doing here? I'm, do I'm here to give you a free training once a month. And guess what? I'm going to invite you to come join us as an NACWI member. Many of you found, many of you found NACWI because of these webinars. That's the what and the why for me. The what and the why for me is because um, I'm called to teach. Teachers teach. And the what is, is the topic of the month. Every single month I teach a different topic. And so that's where the what comes in. Where? Well, for me right now, the where is click, meet, click meeting, click webinar. That's the where. Over the weekend, it was at the Hard Art Retreat. That was the where out in the MD Resort. Um, are you having a breakthrough, sister? Uh, so the where for me, um, you know, I'm, I'm speaking at my AA Women's Retreat coming up. That'll be the where of that. And so knowing where changes how you plan for the event. What was the what? Uh, the what is the bullet points, the deliverables. What am I teaching? The what is this. The what is that I'm teaching you this. The, um, the what is the bullet points uh, that I prepared to be here today. Okay, good. And the wow, what's the wow factor? Well, the wow factor for me today is going to be some of the bonuses I give at the end. The wow factor is that I'm giving away some gifts for those that are here live. The wow factor at the Hard Art Retreat was all the gifts and training and goodies that they kept getting all weekend. And so it, wow is about the emotion. You know, there's a whole lot of webinars you can go to. You don't get to see the speaker on it. I have heard feedback after feedback about my webinars being more fun and different. And, you know, I bring out the pom-poms. I have the my red boa. So the wow is you being you. You get it? You being you on the webinar. All right. So as I'm watching time, now it's your turn. Okay. Now it's your turn. So take, the, take a blank one of these, and guess what? You get to fill it in. You get to fill it in. Shauna, can you distinguish how from where? How? How, okay, how is, is this click webinar? That's how I'm delivering it. How is, am I doing it on an online classroom in Facebook? Where, it, some of the, so there's some overlap on the how and the where, but how is often, how am I going to deliver it? What am I going to use for my props? So that's some of the how versus the where. Where could be Zoom. Yeah, I use Zoom a lot now. In fact, I'm actually thinking of letting go of my Click Webinar or changing my membership to Click Webinar. Um, and you know, those are things you're going to decide. Yeah, where it could be the Zoom. Where it could be at the coffee shop. Where it can be up at the the conference venue that I've rented for our NACWI conference. Amen. Um, okay, that sounds good. So go ahead and like I need. I'm going to give you a minute. I'm going to give you a minute. Where's my timer? We always do set the timer here. So I'm going to give you a minute for you to fill in about your upcoming, either one, something you have planned or something you need to plan. You need to plan. All right, ready? One, one minute. Ready, set, go. Okay, girls, so that was a minute of silence, I know. Did it nearly kill you? <laughs> um, so it looks like some of you have posted, you're doing a workshop in a women's event. Um, go ahead and type in some of the things that you either have on the calendar or guess what, things that you know you need to have on the calendar. Um, and let's go ahead and just type those in so that you can like be honest and also really tell us what your intentions are. Tell us what your intentions are. That's something I just remembered I need to share with you. Speaking 
you're going to have, uh, when I went through the speaking training, uh, basically, hi, saying, I realized that they, what I went and was, lear was learned, was taught from Katarina Rando, is that there's two types of speaking, and there's paid professional speaking, and there's marketing speaking. Now, most of us are doing marketing speaking. Marketing speaking, okay? You're not getting paid $200, $2,000. I have been paid $2,000 to go speak at a women's retreat. And I have been paid $200. And I have been paid a chicken sandwich. <laughs> um, and you're going to, most of the speaking I do, though, is marketing speaking. Marketing speaking. So you're going to want to decide on a goal. So maybe you, your goal is to do marketing speaking three times a month, okay? Three times a month, I mean, I do four different marketing speakings, actually. Well, one, I mean, this is a marketing speaking here. Uh, yes, yes it is. So this is a part of my marketing plan that I come here every month and show up and teach. That is a um, marketing speech I do every single month, so that would count for one of mine. And so let's say I get interviewed. I got interviewed last month on a podcast. That would be another one. Um, I was interviewed by Jesus Calling. That was a big deal interview for me. And so that was a marketing speech. Okay, so you're going to have, um, I, I would say, decide on your goal and then make a commitment to what your speaking is. And then also, um, I'm going to skip that slide because it doesn't make any sense right now. We'll come back to it. Um, and then on when you're speaking, this is also important. Uh, we want to learn from you what you've learned. Okay? Tell us what, what you've learned. And, and share with us words that matter to you. Share with us prayers. Share with us verses. Share with us aha. Share with us what you experienced over the weekend. Uh, you know, that's what people want. It's the power of your story. It's the power of your story. Okay, and I'm going to give you, this is not on, okay, did any have, anybody have any other questions on this before we move on? Because I know I'm watching the time and it is moving along. Power of your story. Okay, so bottom line with this, you're going to need to play with it. You have a copy of this now, print out another one. You know, you can do that. I print everything. Um, and really just play with it and, you know, give me credit. If you share this with your people, just give me credit because it's my work. Um, but it's going to be an easy way for you to one page, make a little plan, a little diagram of what your, what your situation is, who are you talking to, how are you going to get the message across, okay? All right. And then this one is something I drew out. Sorry, I don't know how to make this into a fancy picture, so you got a picture. <laughs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth, my friend. So, and here's the real one that I actually drew out. Um, honey, you can have the colorful heart-based business. It's in the NACLE membership, girlfriend. Uh, you're cracking me up. Okay, so it's in the starter kit section where we have like 20, 20 handouts in there, PDFs. Okay, so I just wrote down the process. You guys can see that. I don't even hold it up. So in AA, and you guys all know, I, I talk about my recovery. Um, recently that was used against me, and you know what? I'm so sorry, uh, but it's important to me that I talk about my recovery because I was living a double life before. I'm not willing to live a double life now. I'm not willing to not talk about it uh, because being sober has changed my life. Being sober has changed my life, and so I'm not willing to be silent about it I wrote a, a book about it, Rock Bottom is a Beautiful Place, and a lot of you, so if you're a Rock Bottom sister, let's just do a Rock Bottom shout out. Uh, rock Bottom is a Beautiful Place, there's three books in the series, uh, 53 women shared their Rock Bottom story, and you know what? We need to speak it, that we have to speak it. I shared it on a video on YouTube. I told the world I was an alcoholic. Yes, I, indeed I did, and now I'm dealing with other addictions. Now I'm dealing with other addictions. But here, so let me just show, pull you back into the scene here. We all, everybody has a problem or a challenge. That's the, what we would call the situation. So the situation could be, uh, you know, your business is not, not building. It could be a marriage. Your marriage is in crisis. You just found out something that has happened. It could be they just found out something about your child. could be that your car just broke down. I don't know. 
uh, but you have a problem or a challenge, a situation, a situation. Uh, then you're going to have the action or an intervention. Something has got to happen. And I'm going to weave these in down below in just a second. And then the third piece up in the top box is a result or a resolution. It might not be the resolution you want. It not, might not be the little prayer you prayed for, but God knows better. Like, can we get a, a high five to that? God knows best. God knows best. If, if, if he takes away something, if he closes a door, then hallelujah, let him close it. Let him close that damn door. Yes, I cuss. I know. You might hang up now. <laughs> or that might get used against me as well. But hey, you know, I need to speak the truth for me. You know, God cl is closing a lot of doors in my life. And he's opening other big ones. And you know what? I've got to keep walking. I have got to keep walking. He is my father. He made me. He knows. He knows. Bye, Nicole. Thank you so much for coming. And then down below, so if I have the gift and the honor of sharing my story, um, my, my story of recovery or my story of rock bottom or my story of restarting or my divorce or, or losing my counseling career, I lost my counseling career. When I get up there to tell it, guess what? Remember we have that necklace. If I have an hour or 45 minutes, then I need to start with what it was like. This is the story. What, what was it like? What was it like? And then I need to share what happened. What was that intervention moment? What happened in the middle? What happened in the middle heart? What is it like now? So there's three key components. This, this is a life-changing slide right here. Um, I combined some things I learned in different places. This is a life-changing slide. Yes. What was it like when you were crying and driving down on the face, you know, Facebook Live like Annette did? What was it like? We heard it, we saw it, we, we, we felt it with her. What happened? What is it like now? What is the transformation? Because I, let me just tell you, ladies, you're selling transformation. You're selling transformation. You're, you're, you're not selling a book. You're, I mean, you're selling what the book includes. You're selling uh, what is gonna, why this heart on the wall is going to remind you of who you are. You're selling transformational experiences. Okay, yes. So does this help anybody? Anybody have a little bing, you know, ringing of the bells, a little aha, ding dong moment? We're almost time for me to give away some prizes and gifts, so you have to be present. You have to be present to win. All right. Ah, good. Okay. Any questions on this slide? Practice this. So here's my challenge. I'm gonna I'm gonna always give you a challenge because I'm a coach through and through. Can't take the coach out of me, can't take the counselor out of me <laughs> because it's just deep down in. So I want you to practice writing, I want you to write this down and I want you to do this today in the next 24 hours. Under the word action it says intervention. Like what, was there some breakdown? Did you get a DWI? Did your husband tell you about what had happened? Did your child come home uh, and with, with the with the report. Did your did your mom did you get the phone call? Did you get the phone call? Did you then go to the school? <clears throat> Excellent. Yes, this will help you to put your story into a uh, a woven and again you can do this in five minutes or you can do it in five days uh, or five hours. It's up to you with what God gives you in that moment. You can tell this in an elevator pretty much. You can. Uh, and this is probably more important than your elevator speech, right? It is. So live a great story. My question for you is what new story do you need to tell yourself? Actually, I've got two questions for you. I always have a question for you. <laughs> what new story do you need to tell yourself about speaking? Do you need to walk out the door today and say, I am a speaker? What new story do you need to tell us? What new story do you need to tell us? Because, you know what, the story you tell yourself is going to reflect out in the story you tell us. And those are both important. They're both different, though. They're different, and they're important. Okay? One new story, do you need? I remember the first time I ever painted. It was after my divorce, about a year, and I painted for the first time. It just rocked my world. It changed my life, and it has continued to change my life. And now it's changing other women's life, lives, too. And... Um, 
pray, say a prayer for me. I have an interview to um, have my art displayed up in Main, Main Street on Grapevine. Grain, Grapevine Main Street next Friday the 17th. <clears throat> so, um, you know, if God opens that door, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk through it. Um, that never, was never my plan. You know, I got my degree in counseling. Uh, so art is like, wow, it's so weird. That is so much fun. So what new story? I, the first time I painted, it changed me so much. The next day I walked out the door from my little rental house in Wichita Falls, Texas, and I said, oh, I am an artist. I, it was like I, I could see myself in a different way. I was seeing myself as an entrepreneur, finally. I was seeing myself as the founder and president of NACWI, but brand new languaging, I walked out the door and said, I am an artist. I'm an artist. And that was the new story that I began to tell myself. And so it's a part of me now. It's a part of me. So these are important questions. And as you go along the rest of the day, you know, what do you need to claim? Are you, a new, are you a, an artist? Are you a storyteller? Did you know they have storytelling conferences? I think we all need to go. Uh, and come, actually, before I say that, come to our conference because we're going to teach you about telling your story as an entrepreneur in business. Three crucial secrets, and then I'm going to close up shop here. <clears throat> Three crucial secrets to speaking success. Do you want to educate us? I believe I've done that today. I, you want to entertain us? I'm pretty sure I did that today. And now it's time for me to entice you. You want to have much more education, like 70% education. 20% entertainment, 10% enticing them. What does that mean? Enticing means I invite you to come join us. Enticing is like the, the part where I say, hey, if you want to come with us, we're over here. Um, you don't need 90% of that. You need 10% of that. Okay? It, we've all been to those places, conferences, webinars, where it's like 90% is like sale, a sales experience, and there's not much of the teaching or the entertaining. Well, flip it around. Flip it around, sister. Flip it around. Entertain them. Tell us a story. Help us to be a part. So, can we have a drum roll? Drum roll, drum roll. First of all, let me just go back. Any other, any questions, any ahas before I finish up with some gift giving? This is, remember, this is only open, the gift. Any questions? You look in the chat box. The gift. Let's talk about the gift. <laughs> One lucky winner. Today and right now, this very moment, and this is only, remember, this is only for those that got registered. I have a couple rules here, people. You know, I've got to have some boundaries and rules. I've got a list of those of you that registered for this call. Those are the ones that registered for this call. They got the download in their email, and you stayed till the very end. So who is still here that fits all those requirements? Because basically I'm going to pick from you that say, yes, I'm here. Some of you are brand new, and, and you don't, I mean, if you're brand new, great. Um, but you know, I need you to say, yes, I am here, I registered, I came, I hope I win, yippee. Um, and I've got my hard art and my book to share. So we've got Anita, she got registered, Brenda, Annette, uh, Karen, <laughs> Karen's always here, Kelly, Linda, yes, 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 Jenna, awesome, awesome, okay, great. And all of you that are saying this, you got registered, correct? And you got all my goofy emails? All right. So I'm going to just pick randomly because this is what we do. I don't have time to tell your names on slips. <laughs> so it's, I'm going to pick Linda, the Linda with a Y. Linda with a Y in it. Linda with a Y. Let me see. Yes, Linda Simons. Simmons, sorry. Uh, Linda Simmons. Yay! So let's give a shout out to Linda Simmons. And I think I'm saying her name right. Linda, here's what I need you to do, babe. Email me. You should have gotten a bunch of emails. Um, email me back and give me your address so that I can send you your heart art and let me know if this is the book you want, Inspired Business Toolkit, uh, or if you would rather have one of the Rock Bottom books. Awesome, awesome. These are all also available. Hello. Um, you know, this is what we do over here. Yes, the toolkit is great. So, Linda, Linda with a Y. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I've got other cool things to share before we finish. My invitation. My invitation is for you to come join us. Come join us as a member. Come join our sisterhood where, we, you know what, we, we learn every single day together. There's a lot of our members here in the house, but a lot of you 
either used to be members or have never never crossed over, I'm inviting you to do that today, and here's what I'm going to offer you. Um, basically, you get all the everything. We only have one membership level now. It's $4.97. You can pay it in two parts, 30 days apart. You get a ticket in there to our conference uh, that's coming up in April. All of it's included. All of it's included. Uh, the 21 classrooms, the private Facebook group, the uh, document after document. I mean, we have in every classroom like probably 15 to 20 webinars. I mean, it's unbelievable what's in there. Now, let me sweeten the deal. I'm going to sweeten the deal in two ways right now. Uh, in February, so those of you that join, uh, you already know Karen's here with us, and she's the guru of education. Those of you that join us at NACWE before the, before the 17th, you get a bonus VIP day hosted by me and Karen. There might be 10 of you on there. I'm not sure. When The last time I did this, there was eight, and it was awesome. So we meet a 90-minute session in the morning, 90 minute at, in the afternoon, and we're going to have you fill out a form and tell us about your business, and we help you. We help you on your business that day, all that day, the whole day, okay? And you're going to have homework before you get there so that we know what to do to help you. It's a huge, big bonus, and this is for anyone, anyone, yes, anyone, that either comes back to NACWE or comes for the first time to NACWE. Now, let me give you the next big deal that we decided on yesterday as a team. The first five, yes, we like action takers here. The first five, you actually save $100. I haven't done this in years. Because you know what, I don't, we don't give a we don't give a discount really, and that we because the value we we give is is like way 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 bigger, and so this is a one time deal. First five, the coupon code is Cafe Love. Whoops, that should be a capital, all capitals. Cafe Love, <clears throat> and that'll take a hundred dollars off of your four ninety seven, three ninety seven, my friend, three ninety seven. First five, that's it, and then it goes away, or it'll take fifty off your two six. It'll take it off in two installments or one big installment. Got it? <coughs> Woo! I'm losing my voice. Write it down. Write it down. First five. First five. First five. And then you'll still get to come to our conference with us. And again, uh, this needs to say 21. Whoops. All of these things, I know we're at the top of the hour, so I want to finish up. But we do all of this. And when we don't just say it, we do it. And for those of you that are in the group, um, they can attest for that. We love each other. Basically, like the bottom line is we just love each other. And we love each other through and with and over and under. And you know what? That's what we really need. I mean, you can go to free webinars all day, but when the rubber hits the road, you need somebody to love you. And you need somebody to be there uh, day after day, one day at a time, as you learn, grow, and expand your territory. Amen? I hope you join us. This is me acting like a goof, because <laughs> that's what I do. I hope you join us. I hope you take action today. Uh, I hope you want to be a part of the honest conversations for a community and for the sisterhood you need in business and to know that you are loved. And I'm going to close this up in prayer. And I can't wait to see who the first five are. Can't wait to send out the gifts and prizes. And I love you guys. <clears throat> All right. Father God, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for giving us words to learn, to teach, to hear, to, to uh, embrace. And Lord, I pray that something was of value that something was of value for these women, and Lord, that they will share that message with others, that they will pass along this video as soon as we get it posted, that they will invite their friends to come join them if they're already members, that they will help us to spread the message of, and the good news about NACWI. Lord, that we are here not to compete with one another, but to support, love, and encourage one another and grow. Uh, we're here to grow. <clears throat> Lord, thank you for keeping my voice intact, and Lord, uh, Thank you for keeping me awake after a night with very little sleep. And Lord, just give each of us what we need, uh, even when we don't understand that we need it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> All right, girlies. Thank you so much. Um, the URL is NACWI. NACWI.org is where you can come join us, and the join page is right there on the page. Awesome, awesome. Love you guys. I'm going to get this downloaded and put onto YouTube here in just the next hour, and then we'll send out an email with a repeat in there, and then you can pass that on to your people. All right. Bye-bye.